What's going on, all you vampire-loving maniacs out there? It's your boy, Fat Samurai Guy, and I'm here today with a horror movie review for you guys. I'm going to talk about the Netflix film, Blood Red Sky. Here's a quick plot synopsis. A woman with a mysterious illness is forced into action when a group of terrorists attempt to hijack a transatlantic overnight flight. This film is directed by Peter Thorworth, stars Paris Baumeister, and Dominique Purcell. When I saw the preview for this uh, a while back, I was like, man, this looks really interesting. It's kind of, kind of unexpected. I wasn't expecting to see something like this. And I was thinking really hard, like, man, is this really the first time where vampires are on, an, on, on an airplane type of movie? Like I was thinking really, 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 really hard about it. And then I was talking to two buddies, that's right, two certified badasses, channel members, Jake Hall, shout out to Jake Hall and Kevin Lambert. And they reminded me, they were like, well, you have Night Flyer out there. <laughs> and then you have uh, a little bit of vampire action on a plane with the Monster Squad. So those two properties do exist. But in this movie's case, it's kind of a first in a way where, you know, you, you had snakes on a plane, there's zombies on a plane, and now we got vampires on a plane where majority of the film takes place. And I'm gonna say right off the bat that I really enjoyed this movie, man. There's some good shit in here. This film has a very simplistic storyline, but it works. You have a mother, you know, meeting up with her son at night, and they're traveling to meet up with this doctor so that the doctor can help, you know, the mother with a blood condition. And at first, you know, right off the bat, you don't really know everything, right? So, you know, you're wondering why she's bald, why she's wearing a wig, she looks a little sickly, what's going on? She keeps taking this medication and then, you know, something's wrong with her, right? But she's on the plane sitting with her son. Everything seems to be going well until, you know, terrorists show up. <laughs> Undercover and whatnot, they take over the plane, you get, some, you get some carnage here and there, not too much carnage yet. And they have their agenda. And the whole group is basically led by, you know, Dominique Purcell's character. Then you're introduced to this character called Eight Ball. <laughs> and you just want to wring his neck and you just want to fucking bitch slap him. Right? Uh, he's definitely one of those characters where you, you, you love to hate. Just, uh, but uh, yeah, he, he's, he's an asshole. He's like the worst out of all the... You know, he's so bad that even some of the other guys in the group are like, Dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he's kind of getting a little psycho. He kills a few people on board. You get this really good sequence where he's walking by uh, the mother that you know and her son when they're sitting in the seat, and you know he has his arms out, and, and there's still blood all over him, and you could tell the mother's like, like staring at it, <laughs> like she's kind of holding back, but she's like, you know, and he's like, what the fuck are you looking at? And of course she, you know, you know, turns away. But it's it's interesting because you can tell something's building here, and then a little bit later, her son tries to you know try to escape to the lower decks of the plane and he gets caught and then you know crazy eight ball shows up and then the mother gets in the way and he shoots the mother and she's presumed dead then not too long after that i don't want to spoil or ruin anything for you but the craziness starts to you know the carnage starts to get ramped up and it's revealed to the audience that we got a motherfucking vampire on this plane now, if you're expecting like blade <laughs> underworld or just a non-stop action thrill ride type of movie. This is not that, despite the awesome premise, right? You get a fucking kind of, in a way, first time, like a good guy vampire, right? Uh, versus the villains. And, you know, it's she's, she's looking out for her son. So it's kind of like the, the premise is set up where, where you know, she's going to take all, it's going to be a non-stop action thrill ride. She's going to take all the bad guys out. It's going to be amazing. It's not that. But what it's also not is boring, at least to me. It's not a boring movie. You do get these moments where the movie kind of slows down in between the carnage, but you get they're mostly flashbacks of the mother and her son. And it shows how she became a vampire, you know, right around that time. Uh, her son was like a, a baby at that point when she got turned. And it's interesting, the concept of <laughs> vampire mother trying to grow up and deal with this shit at the same time, like trying not to eat her own baby. But the flashbacks uh, that are spliced throughout the movie are actually well done and uh, give a little bit more character development to our main actress, which is definitely good, but it's not too much flashbacks. Like if they, I think if they overdid it with the flashbacks, I think that really would have slowed the movie to a halt. Uh, but it's just enough so you get enough character development and whatnot, and then we can go right back to the craziness. So for gore hounds out there, you get a decent amount of gore, uh, you get a lot of blood, 
one of the positives of this film is that uh, it's very well directed to where there's some really good tension filled moments throughout the film and here's a little minor spoiler i mean the movie's been out for several weeks now so it's probably okay but there was a part of the film that was kind of reminding me of, an, of another vampire movie called innocent blood where the villains were basically turning the other villains. <laughs> but, you know, not comedy. <laughs> like, this is not... You know, Innocent Blood was comedy. You know, this obviously isn't. So you do get a little bit of that in here, which, again, raises the stakes, raises the suspense, and raises the motherfucking carnage. I definitely enjoyed uh, the performances uh, in this movie, uh, especially from the little kid, man. The son, you know, usually little kid actors kind of kind of fuck up movies if they're bad, right? They can kind of just be annoying. Uh, but the little kid acted very well in this film. But obviously the main standout performance is from our lead actress. She did an excellent job in this film with the physical performance and her showing emotion. Just a phenomenal job in this movie. And again, without spoiling anything, some things happen towards the end. It's, it's, it, might, it might get you a little, 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 little misty-eyed. I mean, the acting is really good between uh, two characters at the very end. You're going to get a little bit of the feels. It was very well done. So we have a film here that's very well directed, very well acted. Even though sometimes 8-Ball could be a little over the top. You get some blood, you get some gore, you get some fucking carnage. And overall, a very good movie. A little warning here. This is not a, you know, happy fun time vampire movie. <laughs> it's not that kind of movie. So what am I going to rate this movie? Oh, I know there's other vampire content that's out there <laughs> around the world. I get it. But unfortunately, for the mainstream audience, nowadays people, unfortunately, when as soon as you talk about vampire movies, Twilight comes to mind. All right, let's be honest here. That's the first thing they fucking think of. If it's not Blade, if it's not Underworld, usually for the mainstream audience, the casuals, it's Twilight, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so with that mindset, I'm going into this saying, you know what? It's a kick-ass vampire flick. And even though I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of people out there that probably don't think this movie's as good as I'm going to rate it. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to give Blood Red Sky 4 out of 5 stars. Alright, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Blood Red Sky. I'd like to thank all you badasses for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join the Movie Dojo Army, that's right. Become a channel member or support us on Patreon. And also don't forget to subscribe to our second channel, The Movie Dojo. And I'll see all you vampire sucking badasses next time. Take care, guys. Perfect. 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 Fuck Twilight.